So apparently the voltage is, let's have a look, apparently the voltage is 3.89 or 3.90, something like that. And here the voltage is, oops, if I can just put that in, 3.89, which is perfect. Right, so um, 3.89, so of that voltage, what's dropping across the resistors? These two, it should be the same drop, shouldn't it, really? 3.8, okay. That seems about right to me. And obviously this will be 5 volts or somewhere near. Yep, 4.97. Um, so everything's good, really. Um, your capacitor's fine. Oh yeah, the buzzer, let's test the buzzer out. So we'll end it. Oh no, in fact, I don't think it buzzes if you do that. It only buzzes when it finishes. So, um you know it's gonna work anyway the buzzer's gonna work see if the well the MOSFET won't be getting hot because it has 5 volts it's getting a little bit warm but that's from the you see it wow these are red hot they are red hot um, this is getting a little bit warm but that's from the the resistors here so um so yeah uh, let's have a bit of a summary now Okay, so now having had the PCB and soldered it all up and all that, what are my thoughts? Well, um, the quality of the PCB is really good. Um, I've made the very, very silly mistake. And um, I think what I must have done is I've, I've either missed, missed it in a Design Spark PCB or I've ordered like single layer or something like that. I don't know exactly what I've done, but... Um, yeah, there should have been pads at the bottom there, and wires as well to go through to the pads. So because of that, I've had to mess about. Nevertheless, um, you know, it's worked. It's okay. It's just a bit of, it's just a bit more hassle, that's all. Um, so the thing's all working very well, as far as I can see. There's a little bit of work to do here with the LEDs, because right now that's supposed to be red. Um, but, you know, that'll be just a few minutes to fix. So I'll do an update for that. Um, the soldering quality and all that, uh, I got no worries really, everything's fairly solid, no problems there. Um, yeah, I mean everything's looking good. I've soldered the little screen on and that seems to be fine. Um, I'll make a case or something for this and um, these will pop through the case like this I imagine. Do the LED here, the switch here and you just press that to do any actions. So obviously there's a couple of things that will need to be done, but um, yeah, they are basically create the case. So I'll have to do the case now, and I've got my 3D printer, so I should be able to do that with no real difficulty. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to uh, do that at the moment, but I've got that to do. Um, and the screen will be there, the button will probably be at the top here, and the LED will probably be here or maybe the, no put the LED at the top and the button at the bottom probably so when you put your finger over you don't have to go as far maybe that sounds a little bit silly but anyway uh, I'm, I'm pleased it's all done I just thought it'd be good uh, to show you the quality of um, JLC PCB's work so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and hopefully you can see the quality of the work there we go so um, that's version 1 complete um, and I've tested it and it seems very good to me um, so yeah I know it's not ideal about the PCB uh, you know having to work on the, the face of the PCB but um, nevertheless it, it's worked so whatever right and now um, I've actually got 29 of these PCBs so, I know it's not ideal that there are no wires or no pads on the back, but if you want to get your hands on one of these things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all 29 on eBay in my account. So, uh, if any of you guys want to buy them, I'll put the link in the description. And, um, as I said, you know, it's a work in progress. Uh, I am aware that there are no pads on, and it is a bit of messing about. But as you can see, it is doable, and it does work. So, yeah. If any of my viewers do want to get your hands on them, uh, look at the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.